Good evening, race fans. Welcome to episode number 13 of the Area 51 Racing Podcast. I'm your host, Bobby, along with my co-host, Rob. How are we doing tonight, Rob? Oh, and then he disappeared. All right, well, we got Tate, LJ, Justin, and Jason. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Doing great. So tonight, we are going to talk to these people about their sponsor or sponsor and Jeremy and their businesses. And hopefully Rob gets back in here. If not, we'll be okay. Um, Tate, I'll, LJ, I'll let you guys start the show. Super. Yeah. Thanks for having us. And I think you're doing a great thing. Great thing for JCR and for Jeremy and seeing a lot of momentum coming behind your podcast. Let's keep it up. But one of the things I want to talk about is, is, uh, how I got into racing. I got into racing in 1985 and my dad was running for sheriff and took me to a local track in Asheville, North Carolina. It had been there probably 22 years. They still called it new Asheville speedway, but they would pack the house. There'd be 7,000 people in that place on a Friday night. And he took me, he was going to uh, politic down there and campaign. And I said, I don't want to go. I just, it's not my thing. And I got down there and the first person I met was Bob Presley, Robert Presley, and uh, I was hooked and been hooked ever since. And uh, that that's such a tight-knit community. And then I got to race myself for a few years. I uh, was privileged enough to do that, had a great time with it. Uh, moved on, started a company. And when we backed Robert um, as, as a gopher, I'd carry tires for him. And Brad Doherty, I think he was fueling the car at the time. We, <laughs> we were doing what we had to do to get Robert uh, crewed it at the races and I helped his cousin Billy Joe Presley uh, for a few years and helped Bob some um, it just it was a tight group and uh, when we looked at Jeremy's team we saw the same thing with the family involvement it's a family ran business um, Tony is just fantastic Tony Clements is one of the nicest people you ever meet and then Mark Setzer the crew chief David John um, Nick and Brittany, the new drivers, the old drivers, Craig and Audrey, they, they were fantastic. They were just great ambassadors for the team. We were hooked from the first race, uh, and it started with a plane ride last year at Phoenix. A year ago, last weekend, I was in Phoenix with a client, and I got on the airplane, and I sat down next to a gentleman with a 51 T-shirt, and I said, are you here for the race? He said, yeah. I said, were you with Jeremy Clements? I said, yeah, I spoke for you guys because – that's, you know, underfunded team and, and, you know, family ran operation. We got to talking and we talked the whole way back from Phoenix. We didn't stop. When we got off the plane, he says, you know, you're involved in racing. We sponsor a few late model teams and dirt cars, street stock cars. And he said, you know, you should probably look at it. And I'll, I'll get Jeremy's folks to get out a, a menu of pricing and maybe you can jump on what's available. So I got an email from Jeremy and had some some options, and it was quite interesting to see what they're asking. It was very affordable for us. We could do it. And um, I told the person that was emailing me, I said, I know you got Jeremy's signature, but it's not Jeremy. I'm probably an assistant, but you know, I'd like to talk to him sometimes. No, you're talking to Jeremy. <laughs> That's just a very small, rudimentary operated team, which uh, we love. Um, so we did four associates. We agreed to that and it turned into, gosh, what did we do? We did a primary in Chicago, which was unbelievable. That was my first uh, race where we had clients and we had Jason Kemner with Impel Union join us there. Yep. And, uh, then the rest is history. He says, when he gets there, I just want to talk to Jeremy a few minutes. He was in the hall with Jeremy for 45 minutes. <laughs> he came out and he said, that's a good dude. That's it. <laughs> I think the rest was history. Uh, but my wife and I, we both have supported the team. Jason's a customer of ours. We're on the car together, kind of like, kind of like the theme of Spartan Ray, uh, Waste and Fox. You know, we're kind of splitting cars and doing that kind of thing, and um, it's been really fun. We've gotten a lot out of it. Uh, the backdrop you see—that's our poster for the Used Truck Association this past November. And I'm going to let Jason talk about that whole event and how that came together as well. You talk about your introduction into the sport and into helping uh, the efforts of CR and Jeremy Clements. 
Well, <clears throat> I appreciate you guys having me on. Um, you know, we we are happy and blessed to a have friends like Tate and LJ uh, to be on this car. Uh, gracious enough with Tony and and uh, Jeremy to give us the opportunity to help out. But uh, you know, you know, I started as a mechanic 25 years ago, working on cars. I worked on race cars. I dragged cars. Uh, we did an oval out in Columbia, Missouri. Um, I ran a pretty substantial tire shop back in the nineties where um, Kenny Schrader, Mark Martin used to come in and kind of watch our tire techs to see who they would, who, you know, who they could use as a tire tech for a tire changer, man. Um, you know, we ran 150, 175 cars and changed tires on those every single day. So we had a, a very well operated machine and, and that's kind of how I got hooked into it. Been a race fan my whole life. Kind of got out of it a little bit. Um, uh, uh, switch careers, you know, fast forward, I'm with Impel Union, which is a, uh, you know, an independent used truck dealership. We sell, you know, semi trucks, semi trailers. Uh, kind of an independent, one of the last, like this race team, we're one of the last independents left uh, that has no big brand association with it. And uh, uh, we, you know, Blazo Gorev, who's the owner of the company, and I, you know, when I'll go into the conversation on how I kind of got in with Jeremy through Tate, but when we talked, his their vision and what they're into is the same thing we're into. We're the little guy fighting the big guy, uh, just wanting to compete, using everything in an advantage that we can. We're using relationships uh, to grow that um, and teamwork, and it all kind of worked out. So, you know, fast forward, I get a phone call from Tate, and he goes, hey, Kim, I'm in Chicago on this car. You want to come up and check me out? I said, sure. I mean, our, our corporate head, headquarters is up in Chicago. So I flew up there with my wife. Obviously, that was the inaugural race in Chicago. Went out there, saw the car, saw the buzz, saw the excitement. Uh, car's beautiful. Met Jeremy just briefly out on the racetrack, kind of introduced myself. Uh, then we got on a rain delay, right? Went back to the hauler. I said, I want to go meet him for a minute. So went in there. We had a really long, good conversation. And uh, I just kind of looked over at him and said, okay, how do I get on this car? And he said, what? I said, how do I get on the car? He goes, well, let me see what we've got, this, that, or the other. Came out, said what I said to Tate and said, hey, man, that's a good dude. That's a good family. I go, that's that's who we want to support, right? So we get on, we get we get on with some associates with Tate. Um, then I get a phone call about mid-October and hey man, we got a primary open. We can split with Alliance Drive Away for Phoenix. So we get on, uh, we get on Phoenix. I will tell you that the owner of our company lives in Europe. He doesn't live in the United States. He flew all the way into Chicago, flew all the way to Phoenix to go watch this car. Um, it was a great event. It was great for the owner of the company. Um, spent a little time with Jeremy afterwards. And then we, we had this used truck association thing going on and uh, said, hey, man, on, on the way back home, you think you could stop by the convention and drop the car off and let us show it in the co in the convention. So they were gracious enough to stop in and they asked us, Hey, which car do you want? Do you want to unload the backup car that looks pretty? Or do you want the other car, which kind of, as you know, that, that car was a little loose. So it, it, it had some, had some blue, blue paint on it from Phoenix. So I said, Get the race ready one off there. I want the thing to smell like fuel the whole nine yards. <laughs> so we had that, and uh, that was in Alliance's uh, tent there. And Jeremy flew in, and uh, 
We had a good time, took him out to dinner, had a great event. He signed autographs for everybody. And I'm going to tell you that uh, everybody was talking about that. I mean, we had 1,100 people at this UTA convention. And there were some guys that did all kinds of different things for that convention. But the Alliance drive-away tent was all everybody could talk about because that damn race car was said because everybody's like, that thing actually raced. I said, well, hell yeah, it raced last weekend. <laughs> So with that, you know, we, you know, we got into the off season, Tate and I got together and, uh, you know, we're talking with Blazo and uh, made a pretty healthy commitment. I mean, between two of us uh, with this team, we wanted to do everything we could for, you know, Tony and Jeremy and Mark. We wanted to start, we wanted to start giving them some real tools. I mean, some real things to play with so that they could compete with the big boys because, you know, like I, like I was saying earlier, I think Jeremy's the best race car driver on the track. I just don't think he's got the tools in the toolbox to, to, you know, run against, you know, Richard Childress racing and, you know, junior motorsports. And, you know, when you've got all the technology and the, the, the R and D and all that, that's, that's into these uh, engineering, that's all in these cars, you know, they need every little bit they can. So we saw it as prime opportunity. We made a pretty good commitment and so did Tate. And, and here we are. I mean, you know, we're running in Coda this week. Uh, we got a pretty healthy engine in this car. Um, they dynoed it today, came out good. Um, and we're ready to roll, man. I mean, we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. And we brought Justin to Phoenix. Justin and I were talking up one day and he was in the backyard we were hanging out by the pool and he says, I want to, you're all excited about this racing deal. Can I talk to Jeremy? I said, yeah, hold on a sec. There you go. They talk. Good gosh, Justin. I don't know how long you talked to Jeremy, but our connections to a marketing guy. That's a mutual friend of ours. Travis Dellinger owns brand B who does all of our magic with our logo and all that you see with our, our, our company. Now he's doing something for Jason. He does Justin as well um when they were here together and justin's like you know i want to go with you to a race and i said well go to phoenix with us and this was the week before the race he said okay i'm going to go justin saw the value that it gave us to give our clients like none other the crew everybody is they're just great ambassadors for the sport for jcr they make you feel welcome they don't you don't ever feel in the way which if i am working tires like david and somebody's in my way, I'm going to say, hey. And David's like, patient, sit still until the person's out of the way, and then push. I said, Jeremy, did you train that, or did they go to Chick-fil-A school of how to handle clients? He said, they're just, we're, we're just family-oriented, we're driven, we take care of our people. And they have an understanding, but it's just a great experience. And then Justin got hooked, and he's been an associate now for – one race in Vegas, we're doing Chicago, Miami, and maybe some more. So we're, we're happy to have him come on board. And then we've got another individual who's going to be on for Richmond. He's actually was the best man in my wedding. BG Crane Service will be on for Richmond uh, with the Nordic car in a couple of weeks. So we're just growing it. We're just trying to – our goal was at the end of the last year, Jason said, I'm, I'm going to sell that car out. There won't be any room for primaries when I get done. And I'm hoping they have all these associates. Primaries are sold out. <laughs> they were sold out in December. Yeah. yeah. We, we yep. did accomplish that. So, uh, and, and that's a lot of Steve Carnes too, because he, he's the he's the magic behind that. He's the drive, the push, Delaney, uh, Mark Nelson, Mark, all of them, they're at Spartan Waste, Ray Stevens. When you meet all the other sponsors, they make you feel welcome. If, it's, if they're a primary, Chuck or whoever, they're going to make you feel just as important as anybody else. And that's the thing I think Jeremy's got down to a science. He makes everybody, at least us, feel like we're the most important person at that race event. Now, Justin, can you tell us about your company since uh, we talked to Jason and Tate? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm a uh, small company in, based in Cincinnati, Ohio, general contractor that um, specializes in nursing home remodeling. And I have met Tate and LJ through a mutual, uh, well, actually my best friend. And um, to go back, uh, 
uh, how I met. That's how I met Tate and LJ. And then I think the last couple of years I had seen Tate and LJ out through Travis, which owns brand B uh, marketing uh, firm. And I um, got to know Tate and LJ more and more through the last couple of years. And like uh, Tate was mentioning, we we're this earlier this summer, we're at, we're in the pool and, and, you know, we're having a good time and grilling out and, and Tate excellent, uh, makes excellent food and grill, by the way. Excellent host. If you ever get the chance to be around them, they're, they're just amazing. Uh, I don't get no no ideas for Pocono. I'm not going to make it. Yeah. I'd be happy to help. <laughs> so, so we're in the pool and we have, you know, a couple sto stogies and Tate's telling me about the racing. And I've always been addicted to speed and, and cars and the Hot Wheels and the Days of Thunder days. I was telling Bobby about um, how when Days of Thunders got released, I'm sure some of you guys remember some of the, the cars that they, the, the small cars of the Superflow and, you know, the Exxon. And um, so, and it just so happens, Mellow Yellow was a uh, uh, 51, right? Uh, it was Tom Cruise's car. And so I started talking to Tate more and more about it and I got excited and being a small company, it's like, well, how do you really benefit advertising on a car? And for me, it wasn't about advertising my company because it really doesn't benefit um, me as far as like advertisement. But for me, it was about the community. And I have a lot of employees that are NASCAR fans and to put your business. I'm, a, I'm an associate uh, sponsor. Um, but the, at the end of the day, your your name your brand is whipping around that track in a circular motion, right? And so it's just around and around. And uh, if um, anything that taught me about the circular motion, uh, I'm an electrician by trade and electricity works in a circle. So here it is. I'm in the, I, I'm at Tate's house and he's talking to me about this racing. And uh, I said, you know, that it was kind of like no question, right? So your your friends are an extension of your friends of your if you have you know you, you you connect with people and those people you connect with connect with other great people and and i talked to jeremy i think it was an hour on the phone and uh, i knew i kind of like um kinder was talking about great people it's something you want to get behind it's something you believe in and um for me it was about the networking to show my employees they can be a part of, uh, they can come to the race and be an experience that uh, uh, something they would never uh, experience before. And um, Jeremy, like Tate was saying too, he makes you feel like you're the most important person at the room. He gives you that time, and and I think he deserves. I think he deserves uh, a lot of. I think he deserves the world. I think he deserves to be number one. I think he deserves. Um, that recognition and and that's that's why i'm on board it's not it's not to promote my business it's for me to be a part of something great so that's that's all i long for is to be a part of something great experience that so. that's been one of the common themes we've uh heard from all the partners and people that of jeremy's that we've been have on our podcast so far it about family and how everybody, no matter if you're a primary, you're a secondary spon a partner, sponsor, it, it doesn't matter. Everybody is equal and treated equal. And, you know, every, it, it's just a big family feeling that, uh, you know, er, you, whatever you are doing or whatever you can do is, is great and helps move Jeremy forward to be the best he can be, basically you know, taking on uh the the big teams like uh, you were saying earlier um you know and uh, i agree i think jeremy is probably one of the best uh drivers on the track it, and unfortunately like you said the disadvantage of being a small team you don't have uh have those uh you know things like uh, junior motorsports or whatever has the technology and and all the engineering and all that stuff and and uh it was awesome to see this year when uh, Jeremy and, and his partners announced the uh, Hendrick Motorsports engine program and, and that whole thing. Um, that that was uh, really, really cool. And uh, uh, I guess uh, 
motivating thing for and me as a fan uh, of Jeremy and his team uh, for this this year. Yeah, you know, it was it was a very big it was a very big point of emphasis for uh, for a lot of us as sponsors. Mm -hmm. We all want a ring. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think it, I think it's a very beautiful thing that I, I do feel a community here, and I've been here lately. I've been watching uh, about the Amazon forest and about the Amazon jungle, and what's very unique about that and the community that it holds. And when a tree is sick, you know, you know what's you know what's amazing about if a tree is sick, the other trees underneath the roots will go and heal that other tree. And I think. I think um, if we start to continue to have that mentality and start to build a community, anything's impossible where we heal and we grow. And then and, and the parallel, parallel of this story would be, how do we help Jeremy? How do we help Jeremy grow? How do we help him uh, heal and, and, and um, compete with the greats? Because he, he deserves that. And as I was telling Bobby earlier uh, on the phone that, uh, this podcast, even though he told me he started in December, things take time, as you know, Tate, as well. Uh, uh, Rome wasn't built overnight, so but it's persistence. And once you start building that community and people get on board and they're drinking the juice, it's not even that, you know, you want to say drinking the juice, but it's it's really not about that. It's It's really great, good people connecting with each other, good, wholesome and and with good intentions and and uh, I think where we all come from, the stories that I'm hearing, Bobby, Tate, we all deserve that. Uh, if you look back at our roots, where we come from, we want to experience something great. And, and um, w one thing I love about, and I, I'm talking about Tate again and L LJ, but I'm in, I'm in Tate's house and I'm seeing these, uh, I look over and I see these horses, right? I'm like, what are, what are these horses? And Tate goes, well, she's like, I'm a, I'm a world champion. I'm a world champion, uh, a writer. Right. And so, and I thought that was beautiful because Tate's experience world, a world champion mentality. And I think that's very important. It's a very important uh, key component to winning and know what it feels to be like a world champion. And I, and I'm, and I'm so grateful to be around that. And it makes me um, feel that I'm on my right path of ascending as all you guys, and, I, and I'll quit talking after that. So that's 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 what I have to say here tonight. Yeah, Justin's our spiritual leader too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you, buddy. Super, super great guy. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna show some pictures, um, for for everybody. So we're gonna throw a bunch of pictures. Tate sent me a whole bunch, so we're just gonna go through them. Tate, uh, Jason, Justin, you guys can all pitch in and, and say what you got to say with them and then we'll go to the next one did i tell you you could share all of them share as many as i can oh no well, i'll show i'll avoid oh them. no chicago now chicago. those that didn't go to chicago or thought like i did until i went i don't know if i'm a sponsor that they're leaving the circle track and going downtown to race in the street I don't, I've been to probably 90% of the cup tracks and Xfinity tracks. Right there with Hickory for me, this is on the top. This place put on a show until it rained. <laughs> I had never seen so many people at the race for an Xfinity race or Bush race or nationwide. You had the chain smokers, you had the Black Crows playing. The common race fan was there, the non race fan was there. Everybody, it was crazy. And the drivers where they had to park the haulers had to walk with the crowd to get to the car. It was amazing. It's nothing like I'll, I've ever seen before. And we probably won't see it like that again. I think they've already talked about changing up where they're going to park the haulers, et cetera. But it was, Kimber, was it not cool? That was a, a neat, neat race. I mean, that was, that was a whole lot of fun. Um, uh... I wish we would have gotten the dang race in, but it was the people. You can just see this is this is pit rock. Yeah, uh, you can see it like that for Daytona. It's your common fan. Everybody's around there, and it was hotter than forty blue blazes. It was it, it was, was packed too, boy. 
Unbelievable. What a great event. The only thing I would say is wear comfortable shoes. Yeah. yeah. Five miles, little bitty yeah. outfits. So. Five miles. Great event, yeah. for sure. Well, you know, here's another thing. You don't think about this event. There's no motorhomes. So all the driver, all the crews are staying in your hotel. You don't know who you're going to see in the elevator. It's quite spectacular. Yeah. In the hotel, you walk out of your room and you hear race cars going by in downtown Chicago. Vibration. It is the coolest. I, I just, when I walked up the door the morning of the race, I was like, this is going to be really special. Yeah, it's very cool. Incredible. Actually, Ryan gave us a very good <laughs> dinner. Yes, I thank you, Delaney. I know Delaney. you're on here somewhere. George and Giorgetti's in downtown Chicago was well, incredible. Well, the best Italian restaurant I haven't been. Yeah, for sure. But this is a beautiful car. Go ahead. <laughs> <You're> so biased. <laughs> I, I love this view of this car as it's coming around the corner. Oh, wait a minute. We'll, we'll go back to the throwback shirts, too. We just got in today. That's beautiful. What? Oh, we got the throwback jersey. So I'll show you the what we might. This is the original Robert Presley shirt. I don't know if y'all can see it. The camera's coming. I don't know if you can yeah, see it. Cam camera's missing. Yeah, you can't see it because of the background. Yeah, but anyways, we got some throwback shirts. I'll get you guys some. It's got oh, the old old font with the new car. Looks pretty cool. I really like that yellow and black and silver. It really pops. Yeah, the, the, the chrome numbers. It it, it looks awesome. The chrome my, numbers are, are are it. I'm just yeah, telling you. One hundred percent. And Michael Michelli, who does I these designs, uh, he, knocks he's, it out of the park every week. I, I when he was on our show, I even told him that. I, I'm I maybe biased, but I think Jeremy has the best looking cars, bar none, every week at the track. Yeah, it's hundred percent. Well, that's the one thing, too, I want to bring up is the one area that JCR couldn't fill sponsorship is the area that Kemner and I wanted. That's our market. Midwest, Chicago, Kansas, Central America, Portland, Oregon. That's my market. Out on the West Coast, Phoenix. Really worked beautiful the way that Alliance and Impel Union kind of fit into the puzzle. Yep. And Justin as well, he's... Miami, <laughs> Midwest as well. So we actually felt like we filled that niche for them as well as they're helping us. They've done a lot for us marketing-wise as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I just saw it. I think it was today on social media. They uh, Jeremy uh, uh, Clements Racing did a press release about uh, Coda and, and you guys being on the car for this weekend. So, Yeah, it's Kendra's car. I'm just an associate. It looks great, yeah. Jay. Also, I mean, look at that background. Yeah, that background with with all those, those buildings in the background. And what you don't see are the people in the penthouses on the rooftops are covered with people. Covered with people. Covered. Really? Parties going on with DJ spinning up there. It was a great event. I, you know, I, I don't know how they rated it, but for me, it was the, one of the top events I've ever been to. Bobby, See, I was I was skeptical. One picture, one picture back. No, nope, not that one. Forward, you see that? Yes. See that is a beautiful partnership, not just us. Look at it, Kimner. <laughs> Jason, that was the first race, and he cannot stop since then. So look at that. <laughs> no, that was good. <laughs> that was the niche right there, right? That was it, man. I got hooked. Yeah, you need to feel it. That's <laughs> uh, Impel's headquarters is in Chicago, so yep. they'll be the they'll be the primary this year. Uh, we were happy to offer that because it's a great market for us, but it's Kemner's hometown, and man, we're gonna have a good time in Chicago this year. I hope it, hope y'all come. Hope we see you there because well, we're gonna party, <laughs> right, Justin? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah Chicago, be Chicago will be good. Kansas will be good. We'll have a good. Uh, Martinsville is going to be good. Darlington is going to be good. Uh, I mean, we've There's got the top of the pyramid right there, Ryan Delaney. For y'all that that don't know, that's that's the man in the blue shirt. He blue is, shirt. He's he's the reason why we're all here. Yeah, he's the glue. 
if, <laughs> if there if there was somebody who was the glue of this race team, that guy right there is the glue. That was Phoenix last weekend, and Ryan and I went in for the race and left the next day. It was a fun, fun weekend. That's at the UTA event, that used truck association event. So that was that was Tate's booth, and and Tate was gracious enough for us to throw that damn car in his booth. <laughs> I love it. It had the blue paint still on the side of it, and like Jason said, it had the smell, like it just finished up from the race. The wheels were corroded with brake dust. That is the way to show a show car. That was incredible. I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah, which car do you want? I said, not the pretty one. <laughs> I don't want no. the pretty car. <laughs> Kimmer, didn't, you, didn't you drive it back to the hauler? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, man, Jeremy's a little guy, man. That seat's awfully tough to get into, boys. <laughs> you sure you drove it? Well, you were going to see if somebody pushed we were, you we're, back. Yeah, we, no, we just started. It up? Yeah, we don't want to talk about that, but we got to start. <laughs> He drove it right out of the hotel there, or the convention center. <laughs> There's still black paint. marks on the carpeting. Fifty first. Yeah, if you if you look right above the wheel well back there, that's all blue. That's all <laughs> Phoenix blue back there, where he kind of rubbed up against the wall. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, and once again, those chrome numbers pop. Yeah, the red looks good. The red chrome that was. I yeah. Compliments. Yeah. That was the race where he was lo loose, tight, and loose in the corners. Yeah, he was loose off. I mean, he long. was loose off pretty bad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple right there. <laughs> uh, hey, are those bowling shoes? <laughs> yeah. No, those are actually racing shoes. No, we're going racing, no, boys. <laughs> oh, my God. I just was going to ask the same thing if those were bowling shoes. That, no, that's... those are racing <laughs> shoes, man. Those are awesome. I got the red ones and take got the, the yellow ones. I love the yellow I ones, but I like the yellow ones right there. The yellow yeah, ones are proud of those. Look at I it. think Ray yeah. Stevens would be happy that uh, of your shoe game, guys. <laughs> I, I think I think he'd like that. Dress for success, boys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Change your glasses. Make sure it look match. Can he, he try? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I'm gonna share the next one. <laughs> this, I'm hoping I'm okay oh, to no. share this. <laughs> is that steve grissom he looks uh, like steve grissom. That, that's me in another life that's, oh, that's me racing in another life that was about 40 years 30 30 years ago I think. he used yeah. to race he was on the bgn tour <laughs> wow look fabulous take him back there's my baby that was i think the award of the best shades every race goes to uh lj <laughs> those, those are fly. So I got I got another good little story about that Phoenix race, and and, and G, this is how G, gracious Jeremy was. The day of the race was my wife's birthday, and on that car when they when they took it out of the hauler and they took it out of the garage to the to pit road, my wife had no idea, and we just kind of driver introductions went up there. And then when she took that picture, I cried. I cried. Yeah, dude. I know. I, Jeremy. I Jeremy just pointed towards the top of the car, and it yeah. said "Happy Birthday, Carrie," on top of the car. And I, she was, she was lost. And then, and then uh, Jeremy's mom made a cake yep. for Carrie, and it was just. That's what I'm telling you, man. These are just good people. These are good people, and like. Things like that just make you wanting to win. I mean, do whatever you want. Just just go get it, man. He's a lot more than a race car driver hitting the gas pedal. It's amazing what that guy does. I I used to race, and I could probably sign a few autographs, but you're going to find me in the motorhome or the front of the hall or chilling before race. He's always out. Oh, man, I didn't know I said that. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy Jason, that's our youngest son at a Panthers game. Yeah, he's just you saw him a little bit. Yeah. He's that's just Thomas Hatchbath, our late model dirt guy from Chester. That's our old speedway. We my wife bought a speedway in South Carolina that had been condemned called I-77 Speedway. We use it to park trucks. No, we've not torn the track down, it's still there. 
Um, we're just custodians until the next promoter wants to start it. In the meantime, it is our place of business to park store trucks. By the way, Jason, you got a bunch of them leaving there, I think, next week. I know, I do. I took a bunch of them out of there. We are your custodians. Make sure we're doing the right thing for you. Yeah, that's <laughs> really funny, baby. Look at a yellowtail. Yellowtail. Uh, yeah, we, we talked about yellowtail for about a month. Well, yellowtail, though, <laughs> wouldn't you agree, though, Jason, on the track, there were a lot of red and black cars. You could tell that one apart. Oh, for sure. So just because of the yellow tail, it was pretty cool. Well, yeah. not only that, I think uh, the color-wise, when the TV captures the rear of the car going by, that stands out more, too. So you get that view uh, brought you know, more in picture and in frame, too. Yeah. Instead of like a darker color. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I, I agree. I think it, it also helps uh, Jeremy Spotter probably by seeing that yellow on the back of the car when he's up up on top. Uh, also, like you said, a lot of the color, the, a lot of the teams have darker, the reds and whites and blacks and, you know, whatever. Good looking poster. Yeah, that was, yeah, the, poster. It was awesome. That was the poster that we made for this year. Um, you know, obviously, you know, Tate's co-sponsored most of these races with us, and it's just going to be a great partnership this year. Now, our next one, you're Coda, and then we're on Martinsville right after. Coda, Martinsville, Portland, <laughs> then New Hampshire. That's why Pocono's tough, man. I mean, I got to fly to Boston and, uh, you know, fly to Portland and then turn around and fly to Boston it's three weeks later. That's going to be a lot of travel. I think that's a lot of travel. Oh, that's a that's a blast from the past. Oh, but yeah, that's oh, to the left is yeah. uh, my father, who was sheriff, and this is when he was running for sheriff in 1985. This is about or when I first met Robert. That is Robert Presley, believe it or not, with the Max Headroom T-shirt. To the wow. right. he was uh, he was sponsored by Coca Cola, and when you had Robert Presley, Randy Porter, Bob Presley, Jack Ringer in the same race, it was bloodbath. Those guys. You don't see racing like that anymore. It was. <laughs> this is your father and Robert Presley. Yeah. Wow. What track was this picture taken at? Do you remember? Uh, that's Asheville Motor Speedway. New Asheville Motor Speedway. The New Asheville. Speedway for years. Um, In fact, that uh, I think if I remember right, Robert won a track championship at New Asheville Speedway one year. One there in Greenville Pickens. The same and Greenville Pickens, yeah. Yeah, the Miller All American Challenge Series. He won that and was able to get a um. A, what was the the series in Charlotte? The All Pro Series they would run there, and that's what got his teeth kind of cut into going in the Bush Grand National. Built his own first Bush car with his own money, and with a little help from people in the community like Brad Doherty, and won at Orange County, I believe, his third race out. Um, that's when they used to run Orange County, South Boston, Hickory. Now, if you wanted to see a good show, go check out a Bush race or now Xfinity race at like a Hickory, a three-eighths of a mile track. In one lap, they're lapping everybody. Oh, yeah, was, that would be amazing. It's it's a demolition derby, but it is so fun. Those guys were so good. So good. Your, your father was uh, proud and uh, very happy there, you can see. Yeah, he sponsored yeah. He didn't sponsor. He he got a lot of help from the, the racetrack. Yeah. Russ Light, the owner, um, that's Stephen Light's grandfather, who won in the Xfinity Series, um, promoted and helped Dad, as well as Ted Wells and other people. Bob Presley, Robert Presley, all had his bumper sticker. Mike Messer, um, you know, list goes on and on. And I'd like to say something, too, that uh, Banjo Matthews was a big part of that. He needs to be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> 100% agree. You know, that's crazy. We all need to get behind that because he is a if you, inspiration for all. Well, if you think about all the the car, the chassis that he was involved building for some I, I, Mark Martin and some other of those iconic old school guys that came through NASCAR that are in the Hall of Fame. I, I mean, I, I'm blown away that he's not in the Hall of Fame. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's used to meet. There's a McDonald's, and Robert can help me with this. At, uh, the Benton Creek, uh, right there at 191 Candler, Inca Candler exit. There was a McDonald's. And you'd go there on any given Monday. They would sit and sit coffee. Jack Ingram, 
Ted Wells, Banjo occasionally, Pete Silva. You don't know who would be there. And it was the coolest thing to hang out with those guys and just have a cup of coffee and an egg McMuffin. It was kind of, probably something like being at Junior Johnson's breakfast, you know? It was really cool. So glad I got that. Oh, yeah, there he is. I was a much better race fan than I was a driver, but that is Oh, and my, that's you. Yep. Wow. That's 2001-ish. Yeah. It's a nice looking car. Yeah, that was. It's, it's almost like a KLB. concept car, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a KLB chassis. If you don't know, Kerry Botenheimer, um, he did most of the late model stocks back in the day. He was out of Hendersonville. Um, and I was happy to drive one of his cars, which this was Toby Robertson's, Justin. This was the car from him. Wow, really? He was the son of T. Wayne Robinson that had uh, okay. a personal effort for R.J. Reynolds, uh, was unfortunately um, killed in a hunting accident. But Toby's car and bought that in 1999. Um, good good tri-county car. This was taken at Newport Speedway in Tennessee. Wow. Ashton Higgins, he's our Cars Tour Series driver. And this is a car. couple of years ago? That was last year. Last year. Mm -hmm. We're looking for great things out of him. That's a nice looking car too. That 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 chrome, those chrome numbers pop. It, it's amazing. Well, that Cars Tour racing is fun to watch um, if you ever get a chance. It looks like we're going to try to do a JCR night at the Speedway there. Uh, Ashton's father owns um, Tri County Motor Speedway, and we're looking at doing a promotional effort, maybe while the Olympics is going on, and have a JCR night. But we uh, we sponsor Davy Smart uh, at that track, and uh, Boo Carlisle. We were helping his um, Stars Tour, which will be running there as well as other tracks. He's doing a traveling street stock series, and if you ever get the chance, check out his um, podcast on YouTube. It's called Kicking Asphalt. Robert yep. Presley. Yeah, representing, representing Pops. Are we almost there? <laughs> Robert is there? Yeah, where is he? There he is. He looks good. Jason, you didn't share any pictures? Just me? Yeah, I don't have much. I'm sorry. Uh, so, Jay, you guys are based out in Kansas City, right? So, I, I personally am. I'm in KC. Um, but we've got, uh, you know, we've got our, our corporate headquarters is, is in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, we've got a store here in uh, Kansas City, along with our, you could call it a second corporate headquarters or the wholesale offices where I'm out of. And then we've got uh, uh, a retail facility in Dallas. We've got one in Houston, and then we've got one in San Antonio. And then we're looking to, uh, you know, we're looking to expand again. Towards the third and fourth quarter of this year as well. Here's hopefully, we're gonna, hopefully we're going to kind of get into you know the southeast. We're looking at Florida. We're looking at Georgia. Uh, looking at Tennessee. Uh, maybe North Carolina. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to put a store in Charlotte, so it gives me a reason to come visit. <laughs> yes, business we're, trip. We are ready. Hey, <clears throat> Charlotte is a magical place. It really is. There's something about Charlotte that. Um, you know, I, I, um, wow. I don't know what to say. I mean, you're, you're two hours from the ocean and an hour and a half from the mountains. I mean, you're in a pretty good spot. But sure ain't the football team. Maybe you can bring those chiefs over when you come. Back. I mean, <laughs> listen, I, I, I'll keep that. Hey, here. <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Mr. Burrell's coming for you guys this year. So get ready for that. Yeah. No, no, no. Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, baby. Oh, you're Steelers. I like the black and gold. Huh? That's the colors I like. Yeah. Boys, no, it, boys, I hate to tell you, the three peats actually going to happen this year. Oh, <laughs> no, For the, the first time in NFL be... history, it's going to happen this year. It's, it's go pack go you. time. Go pack go. Oh, I hate is. to tell you. <laughs> All right, so Jason, we got. All your... we need is love. So <laughs> go pack go. Jason, we got your hero card for this weekend. Awesome. Nice. So, you want to tell us about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that bad that bad boy was heading to Hendrick to go get dynoed. And that was today. 
actually. That was today. That was today. How many and teams you guys are running a car in an open trailer to go somewhere to get teched? You just don't see yeah. that. Either. Yeah. No, I mean, um, Jamie uh, from Elite Towing had a picture when he was on of one of Jeremy's car on the back of his flatbed. And he yeah. said, you, you're driving down the down the freeway or the road or whatever, and these people are waving and, hey, how's it going? Oh, Jeremy Clements, yay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, you don't see that. I mean, usually it's they're inside of a trailer, and even with your local guys, it's you're inside of a trailer or the car's inside of a trailer, and nobody knows unless they have, obviously, markings on the outside of the, their hauler or their, their trailer if it's a race, race car or not. So, um especially with cup teams, they're pretty private and about or, or, oh, or, they're or secretive about their NASCAR stuff, team. man. Yeah. Yeah. NASCAR, NASCAR cup, Xfinity, even trucks. I mean, they're all pretty, pretty, uh, discreet, uh, with everything. So I was asking, I was asking Bobby, uh, how area 51, I, I think it's, uh, I love it by the way um just because the um i guess the extraterrestrial um part of it right um right have you, have you explained previously what how that come about uh so so this is how it came about so first off bobby and i were just talking talking about doing a podcast and then if you see the observation tower white tail smokeless rob Kike Bush, the, the owner of Whitetail Smokeless, um, sponsored Jeremy's car last year at Road America. And I was there with my son and his girlfriend and got talking with Rob. And, and he ended up giving me the banner, um, the Observation Tower pit ba box banner. And then that um, Justin Sharpie the, from Dis uh, Driftless Glen Distillery gave uh, Bobby the other the banner off the back of the pit box from Road America. And uh, we were talking, trying to figure out what we would name our podcast. And we, you know, everybody covers the Cup Series. You know, I should say a lot of the podcasts. It's, you know, like Dale Jr. Download. You got Denny Hamlin's Actions, Dentrimental, that type of stuff. They're all talking about Cup. Nobody is giving any exposure or very little exposure to Xfinity, Trucks, Arca, and the lower series. So... The way the way I we were we were talking, I was like, you know, this Area 51 that Rob came up with for an idea at Road America, Area 51, sort of like a secret area. You know, it's like the misfits. Yeah, you don't really know much about it. I'm thinking, you know, that would be a perfect idea. Bobby and I were talking. That would be a perfect idea to name our, our podcast Area 51 because we're covering, you know, something that a lot of people don't really know much about and it's not really covered and then we talked with rob and he allowed us to use his logo in the area 51 and then um we started our podcast and we had, i think it was a third or fourth show bobby with michael michelli was on and yeah. uh he ended up uh redid our logo for us to the one this, this one that that we have now and um so yeah, that that's basically how it came about and the meaning behind it, and you know, and also obviously the the other thing is to support Jeremy Clements because Bobby and I and, and Dave, the other guy that does the podcast with us, we're all huge Jeremy Clements fans uh, and race fans in general, and um, so I think the tying in the Area Fifty One, the number Fifty One, and you know the like the mysterious nobody covers the the secret you know, the other series, I thought it would, we both thought it would be a great, a great mean, or, you know, name for a podcast. Um, so that's basically in a nutshell, how, how that all came about. It was just, just, I don't know, just talking and brainstorming and, and to be honest with you, I honestly didn't think, you know, Bobby and I were going to be doing a podcast and he's like, okay, I got, got, this set up and we got you know ryan uh um from fox sports and and uh mike and uh mike nelson mike mullins uh they uh were on board from spartan waste and and then it just sort of blossomed from there and, and bobby's done a great job you know 
getting everything set up so we have guests every week and so i mean it's turned into a great great thing and obviously like you we were saying before you know our goal is to keep growing and getting better at what our craft and what we're doing but um you know it, it's a work in progress it's it's something neither uh, of neither of us have really done before i mean i i was a law enforcement officer for 21 years by trade so um you know this is all new i mean i i was a detective for 16 so i was i'm used to talking with people and and if you see i they they call me ricky bobby because i always talk with my hands um <laughs> but that that's a, a a habit that i picked up as a cop that you're always taught to keep your hands up and talk with your hands so uh it's a hard habit that i've been trying to trying to work on and break but um you know it just our goal is to help Jeremy also grow not only his race team, but his image and his brand along with all his partners and uh, to also cover the sport of racing that we love and give these other teams and stuff exposure that they deserve. I mean, we've had two ARCA series drivers on our, our uh, podcast. Um, Willie Mullins, he uh, set the poll for, uh daytona the arca race of daytona unfortunately had a bad wreck um he, he's a small independently owned team just like jeremy clements racing is him and his wife diana um and then uh alex club another independently owned small race team um owns his own business I, and just recently he went on the way to phoenix to the arca race he broke down his his truck broke down in New Mexico and he was stranded and a, a competitor stopped by and towed him his hauler or trailer to the to the track for him. Um so I mean it's just it's cool to see stories like that. How it's like like a community and family and racing and and stuff, but you know, I, I've rambled on long enough, I guess, but Basically, that that's the gist of how we came about Area 51 and, and what our goal and purpose is um, for this podcast. And and talking about the podcast, I want to throw this out real quick because Tate and I and Jason and Justin have all talked about it. We are selling hey, tumblers. Bobby, Bobby, real quick, I got a surprise guest on here. Oh. Go ahead, Robert. Say hello to everybody. Hey, guys. I was here. How you doing, hey. sir? Hello, sir. Hey, how are y'all? Good. Doing good. You want to go ahead and break out the unveil? You can, buddy. Yep, I will. I will right now. There is the Darlington throwback paint scheme. That car should look familiar to those who watched the Bush Grand National Series back in the 90s. Robert finished second, first, and first in between 92 and 93. Um, that was a magical two years. We're going to celebrate his success there this year with this car. And it looks almost identical to what he had back in 92 and 93. Um, so we're looking forward to that and having Robert out. And we're going to go ahead and promote his success starting right now and, and anxious to get out there and show people what Robert was able to do back then, which was phenomenal. He's the legend. Yes. Bent Creek Bandit. Oh, that was in some younger years right there now. <laughs> now Jeremy Clement's going to go down there, what, some 30 years later, and he's going to repeat. Are you going to show him what David taught you? Exactly. <laughs> That's a pretty good story, Robert, if you want to share that about David Pearson. Well, I mean, and it is the, it's the honest truth, you know. Uh, I struggled at Darlington in 1990 and 91 when I went. I was like 18 plays. And we got there in 92 of March, and it was raining. We got practice in, but it, then it started raining, and I was like 20th fastest. And while it was raining, David sat down there, and if anybody knew David Pearson, he was very blunt at what he said. He said, boy. This place ain't hard to drive if you'll just uh, race that racetrack instead of you trying to race everybody else. 
we got in a road car and he took me around the racetrack a couple laps and it's kind of mist and rain. And I mean, everything he told me, I said, there's no way I can do it, David. I said, my car won't let me do it. And he said, yes, it will. Well, quit raining. We got ready to qualify. Mark Martin sat on the pole, I think, and I sat on the outside pole. Shocked everybody. And then went on and won the race. And that's when I realized that Darlington is so easy if you just race yourself instead of worrying about anybody else on the racetrack. And I love that racetrack from that day on. And then I believe your next one, you had the uh, Skull Bandit behind the Bent Creek Bandit chomping yeah, at your heels. Yeah, then beat the two of the greatest they was. was uh, Labonte runs second to me one time, and Harry Gant runs second to me the other time. And, I mean, it is impossible to beat the cup cars then, <laughs> or cup drivers. But I tell you, that is one thing I'd love to see, and I can't wait to go for the race, is to see that Alliance car out there driveway solution car, the lights, uh, take light a special. But I tell you, I want to just watch uh, Jeremy take that thing to the front. And I've watched him race over the years and note of his dad building engines. And I tell you, what would be greater than to see that 51 Alliance car in victory lane? Yeah, and I, you know, Michael Maselli did this scheme. If you'll notice, it's even got Robert's name on the passenger uh, roof. Says Robert Presley. Well, guess what I got today, Tay. What do you got? My son, which I guess no the guy that done it. I got a die cast today of the number 51 a lights card. Scotty Bennett. To the restaurant there where I was. You and it looks phenomenal. You think you can have Robert Presley sign that thing? What do you think? I know we can. <laughs> <laughs> we need a recognizable. We can do it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you saw the first part of the broadcast, but they were showing the Oldsmobile that we're going to bring down to Darlington, too. And that will be available for you to keep at Celebrity Hot Dogs as long as you need it. Well, I tell you what, uh, I can't wait. And I've showed a lot of people uh, what you've done, and I've been keeping up with it. And I can't wait to hear that Buick V6 motor <laughs> crank back up again. Well, it's it's a V six too, so yeah, it's going to be a bumblebee. Uh, one thing, yeah. um, too, is let's talk about the Decklid sponsor. So that is is it Super Lube of Asheville, I believe, Robert. That's yes, yeah, so, uh, it sure is. Them guys at Super Lube was with us from the first race until the last race for four years, and uh, what great people they was to work with, and they're so excited about having Super Lube on the back of the car there. So I actually was going to put Celebrity Hot Dogs, which is Robert's restaurant in Asheville. If you get a chance, go by. Robert's, you're there sometimes cooking and making the chili. I'm there three days a week anyway during lunch. And sometimes I'm there a little more often four days a week. But anytime anybody wants to get a hold of me, my daughter runs the plate and she'll call and say, hey, we've got some people from, you know, Alaska or Mexico. They come from everywhere, and I'm only in a, about a mile, mile and a half away, and I'll go up and hang out with them and take pictures. And, you know, it's interesting that you still have fans after you've retired for 18 years. Well, you were one of the greats, and you're you're like Jeremy. You're, you're, you're you know, for Asheville, you made us proud. Um, we didn't have anybody else really from my era that went on to Cup from Asheville. I mean, we had Jack Ingram. He did great up to the – Bush Grand National Series, but um, the Cup, you you were pretty much it. So you were, you were a lot of people's hero, especially in that area. You know, he was a young man when I was racing down there. And, you know, with your dad uh, being the elected sheriff here in the county, and you know what it was like having to race against my dad and Ronnie <laughs> Silvers and all them. You know, I had a hard road to roll up here in Asheville trying to race against them and become the villain. Yeah, how many Presleys were racing at one time? You had Ronnie, Billy Joe, you had Mike, you had Ken, Ken you had you, and, and Bob. Me and Daddy. I, I think one night at Asheville, six out of the first eight was Presleys that finished the race. <laughs> <laughs> and it was always... And people don't 
don't really understand what it was like having to race your dad, you know. Oh. And a lot of times it was for first and second. And I mean, there was some days that went by that, and weeks and months that me and him didn't even talk. I remember we didn't even get to have one Thanksgiving together because it's in the racing season, and we had a family feud going on during that summer. I, I don't ever remember if you guys were first to second coming to the checkered flag that it didn't finish in a caution with somebody. Getting, I don't ever remember it being a – it was a hot dog There's three or four pictures of both of us piled up at the start finish line on the checkered flag and them trying to figure out whose bumper was in front of the other one at the time. Well, you notice too, my car – my first car was number 54. That was – in celebration of Bob and what he did and, and what he was still doing when I started racing, he was still, how long did he race? He was. He raced from 1960 to 1998. And was still winning. He was unbelievable. Timeless, right? Timeless like the t-shirt. He, you know, I put him right there as one of the greatest they ever was. <laughs> Yeah, so we had celebrity hot dogs. I was going to put on the trunk lid, and Robert said, no, 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 no. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. That guy's so excited. And, Robert, I hope he comes to Darlington, too. We'll make sure he gets in and like to meet him and let him, you know, take pictures with the car. And yes. Yes, I have talked to them, and they're coming to Darlington also for the race. And we'll get shirts for them, whatever they need. So we're looking forward to that. That's going to be a new actual Speedway okay. reunion. Reception here, if you can still hear me. Yeah, we got you loud and clear, but appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate it. Hey, I can never thank you enough, and I can't uh, thank the Clement family for uh, offering to do this with that. It is a great honor for me. We're looking forward to celebrating with you. It's going to be fun. Okay. And right. I appreciate y'all. Take hey, care. Thank y'all. Yep. Thank, thank you, Thank you, Robert. Mr. Presley. Take care. Thank you, guys. The Bent Creek Bandit, folks. Glad to have them on. Yeah, thank you for that. That's thank you awesome. for doing that. Now, that, was, that was awesome. That little bit of history right there, that's the stuff that I, I, I love. I, you know, that's the stuff you don't hear that's that's slowly dying off with the the uh, legends like him. Um, if they don't write it down or share it with somebody and they write about it in a book, it's lost forever, unfortunately. Yeah. So, and we actually but, we actually did have a winner uh pick Robert Presley on the on the YouTube channel for the the giveaway for the Jeremy Clemens uh side skirt, autograph side skirt, and it went to uh Blue Prospect Design. Wow. Awesome job. Good job. Nice. That's awesome. The, he didn't pick the actual paint scheme, but he picked who the who the driver was gonna be. Oh, that's great. So I want to throw this back out since since Robert called in, but it's mid, about middle of the show. We are selling these tumblers uh, from Anna. They are on our Facebook page. We will post them again. I'm sure Tate, LJ, Jason, Justin, everybody will share them. Um, Area 51 racing tumblers. We have orange, black, and I believe gray. Black, um, white, and gray. Yeah, and then... We are. We also have on stickygears.com. We are selling T-shirts for fifteen dollars, and some of the proceed is going to trying to sponsor Jeremy at Pocono as the associate sponsor. Oh, that's very sweet. That's very sweet. So we are trying. We are trying hard. We'll donate a diecast for you to auction off or do whatever for that proceed as well. So okay. you'll, you'll get one for that as well. Okay. Back by both awesome. Robert. Thank, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll have it to you after the May race. Yeah. But, I want to uh, shout out to Scotty Banks too. He does our die cast. He does incredible work. Um, he also has a company called Driven Glasses. This is the P1. These are actually glasses so you're in a boat and they fall out and land in the water they're going to float so really cool design he's um, promoting driving eyewear for drivers it's the official eyewear for alliance driveway solutions too i like it if you're in a boat they're going to float 
You're going to float. They're going to float. <laughs> Scotty's a great guy. And he's the one that dropped by the die cast for Robert. He had him done early. So I'm going to bring it. I said, can you stop by Celebrity Hot Dogs and drop on? Absolutely. And Scotty's family has been involved in racing in Asheville for years. And he still lives up there and does a lot of promotional efforts for teams down here in Charlotte, um, bigger teams. So you'll see his product around driven. Um, I know he's actually worked with Travis. We've had some discussions. But this is a great product, and y'all check him out. I, I did meet. I did meet him at Arizona. Yes. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, Scotty uh, Banks is a, is awesome at the diecast. Uh, majority of my di Jeremy Clemens diecast are, are were made by him. Yeah. Um, I call him Scotty Bankrupt because uh, I I uh, get myself in trouble every time uh, <laughs> with my wife every time I order one. So, um, but. They uh they're amazing. He does amazing work. Yeah. And they're they're cheaper and better quality, in my opinion, than some the manufactured ones that you can get through. I won't say the companies, but um I use the economicals or yeah. then cheap. Economicals good. You you can I oh I, did I say cheap? I'm sorry, I didn't mean <laughs> to say that. I mean economical, affordable uh, compared to some of the manufactured ones that are out there so and yeah. I, and that's not all of them it's just some of the quality uh in mass production is you it's not the quality control is not the greatest so but I want to, um, I want to shout out yeah. to matt man to chad chad does a great yeah. job with our matt team well. yeah look at there you got one too yeah i Dinner. got i got this from scotty that's beautiful oh, nice it, Yep, I love it. I love this uh, this uh, design and everything. It, it's just awesome. Awesome, so, Jeff. Nice. I think I have what one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six from uh, diecast from Scotty. I have thirteen. Yeah, uh, so we have one here. special guest, y'all, and yeah. this is uh. One that you probably have been waiting for a long time. Hi, Jeremy. Say hi to everyone. What's up, guys? Hey, What's up, Jeremy. Hey, hey Jeremy. House. Hey. Are your ears turning it? red? How are we doing on a Tuesday night? Awesome, baby. I'm I'm doing good too. I'm literally holding uh, my baby girl, feeding her another ball. She has been a uh, she's been wide open. And uh, I just hope she goes to sleep at some point. <laughs> Don't worry, it will done soon. Yeah, soon it'll pass. Yeah. Have you listened to the show? I have, to be honest, no. I've followed another. Hey, I've been on baby duty, so we'll have to go back and watch it. I think. Yeah, we'll yeah. Ba baby duty will, will will keep him busy. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I I, I literally I've forgotten to eat several times. I mean, it just just everyday life is definitely different at the moment. So I'm trying to keep up with you here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, trying to trying to give Mama Bear a break because I'm gonna be gone here the next uh, two three days in a row, and I know she's not gonna be happy with that. So I'm trying to give her some time. Well, we're. I'm heading down to Texas starting tomorrow, so looking forward to seeing you this weekend. I know, Kendra. I can't wait to see you too, buddy. And uh, that Impel Union Chevy's looking good. She's ready to roll. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty excited, man. I don't know if you heard, Jeremy, but Rob and I, an Area 51 racing podcast, are going to try our butt best to uh, be an associate sponsor of your Pocono car. When we're there at the track. Oh man, that's that's really cool. That I mean, every every it helps keep that fifty one going. I tell you that it it uh, it just takes so much to do all this, and uh, we we can't. I mean, just Ryan Delaney meeting Tate, and then Tate introducing us to Jason Kemner and Impel Union and his and Kerry and everybody there. Oh my goodness, it's like been. Uh, it's kind of, it's just it's kind of surreal it's really it's just really crazy so we 
We've been very blessed. And we, we've got another new associate coming on for Richmond, which is B.J. Crane, Matt Gravitt, which is a good friend of ours, and Justin. So we've gotten two new associates, primary with Jason, and we're still working hard to fill that thing up. We got the primaries done. We just got to get the associates done. That dog will hunt, right? You guys, you guys have hit a home run on several occasions, and man, that just uh, it never sees amaze me how how you guys just bring on uh, other people that you know, and that's really cool. Yeah. Well, Dave, I, go ahead. I think it's more about we believe you everything. So this is the first time I'm on it. But I believe it's very important about family business and the truth and the faith. So talk about how you build your your not just business, it's about your life with the family. I think it's very important for all the audience here and whoever we don't know. Diane. Uh, definitely so, LJ. I mean, we've we've been a family race team for really my whole career. And I mean, it's just gotten, uh, you know, I just lost my aunt Phyllis. She was a huge part of it for, for the whole time, lost her in November to a stroke and, um, still trying to get our feet under us from that, honestly, because there's, there's just, there's so few of us. And when you lose one, it, it's a big deal, but, uh, the rest of us just keep on going and, um, try to make it the best we can. And I can't thank, you know, my dad, Tony and, his brother Glenn and then my sister Jennifer and uh, my mom Maria that everybody does their part to keep keep the 51 Chevy rolling and uh, it's really been a lifelong dream of mine to, to even race in NASCAR so uh, to still be here and keep doing it competitively I definitely want to win more races for not only myself obviously but for for all my family and friends my partners and friends and you guys are more than just partners. You're, you're, you're really good friends. I mean, I just love the company that we have and the friendship that we have and uh, just always look forward to more time with you guys. So I can't thank you all enough. Well, we appreciate what you do for us and you're a great ambassador for our companies. And yes. We look forward to doing more with you and with your family. Um, Little Mason's little head was popping up throughout this podcast. So if you were on earlier, you've seen that. You know that it's you know kids always come first for us. That is right. I will definitely go back and watch this one. And uh, <laughs> Mason Godley's growing up so fast. I mean, it is just crazy. So can't wait to see you guys. Uh, I know you're going to Hawaii. Uh, is it? Is it? Uh, is it next week? Next week. Is Mason going too? By the way. No, he won't make this one. No, okay, okay. That's then. Hey, that's mommy and daddy need a break. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, this is a work trip, but it, he won't make this one. But next one for sure, and we're gonna take him to some races. Yes, when he still sees Ross Chastain, he said, "There's Jeremy." So that's that still cool. happening. Anybody with the beard and the fire suits, Jeremy. Oh, sorry no. about that, bud. We'll have to definitely get him corrected on that. But... Well, Matt Crafton was Jeremy this weekend too, so. Just basically anybody with a beard. Anybody with the beard and fire suit. That's right. No, Jeremy is just you. Let's not be generic. It, it's just you. He knows Jeremy for it. Yeah, he's yeah. funny. He loves Jeremy. Yeah. He's got to teach. Uh, you got to teach him to say "golly," and then if <laughs> then you'll know if it really is Jeremy or not because Jeremy will actually answer. Speaking of golly, I've got some on my beard right now. It's some good stuff, Jeremy. That's one product that endorses you that I really like. Yeah, I bought eight bottles. <laughs> you bought it? Really? Yeah. I bought eight, I bought eight yeah. bottles. It smells good, doesn't it, man? Place yeah, good. I love it. Where, I don't know where those smells come from, but they must go to like Central America and pick up some crazy scents, but it's unbelievable. It is yeah. Some good smelling That's stuff. Some good uh, stuff, man. It, I mean, you know, if you have a beard, you definitely need some beard oil, so it uh, <laughs> definitely helps. So, and, I, and my wife, she likes it too when I put it on, so I... <laughs> I try to wear it every time I'm around her. <laughs> say hi yeah, to Courtney. Yeah, yeah, say hey to Courtney. She yeah. she has a tough job without you. Sometimes. What, what was that? I say Courtney has a tough time without you. Sometimes. Not all oh, time, yeah. but sometimes. <laughs> yeah, she's, 
she's dreading me leaving here soon because I've been here the past week since we were off. But uh, and I'm I'm literally sitting here with baby girl in my lap feeding her. She's she's finally kind of passed out a little bit. And I'm, guys, I'm telling you, she has been up like hours. I'm like, how was how was a little two and a half month old baby up so long? <laughs> Every forty five minutes. Every forty five. Oh my minutes. goodness. <laughs> And we've talked about your your trait, Jeremy, where you you make everybody feel from the associate, from the non-sponsor being at your events to being the most important person when you're talking to. I don't know how you do it, but it's an incredible feature you have and very, very nice to spend time with. I just feel like, I mean, everybody's important to me. I mean, if you're my, if you're a fan, you're a friend, you're family, I mean, you're a partner. I don't know. I just... That's just the way I guess I was raised. I mean, just treat everybody equal, and you know we're all we're all trying to get to this life together and make it the best we can. So I just I appreciate everybody really. And then Jeremy, just letting you know, we had Robert Presley on earlier, right before you, and we showed the Darlington throwback. Very nice looking car. How cool is that? I mean, very cool. I, and and to have Robert Presley on there, that is just that's way better than me. I mean, you guys, <laughs> that, you guys hit a home run there, and uh, we gotta thank Tate and LJ, everybody at Alliance Driveway Solutions for for that awesome idea. That that car is gonna look so cool at Darlington. That's one of my favorite races of the year, and what a good idea that was, Tate. I think you are to Spartanburg what he was to Asheville. There's no doubt that parallel is very similar. Um, you guys are journeymen, you're, you're cut from the industry, you're not brought into the industry, your parents didn't have a lot of money to support you, you did it on your own, and you both did it your own way, and it shows in your character, and you're the last one of your kind, so we're happy to support you. That means the world. I'm, I'm literally looking at the car, I've got it saved in my photos, and uh, that you know, Michael Maselli did for us, which I know he's been on the show, and uh, the the car just looks so cool. I mean, it's it's the throwback, and uh, I did talk to Ricky Tate. I forgot to tell you that. I did talk to Ricky Pearson, um, unfortunately at a funeral last week for Greg Moore. Yeah. But um, I I did tell him about this and and told him we'd love to have him. So hopefully we can make that happen. Oh, I want to give a shout out to to Bill Ryan. I talked to him a little bit this morning on email. He's the one that's doing our throwback Oldsmobile, the original Oldsmobile from 92. You get a chance to check out some of his videos on YouTube. He He's the godfather of classic NASCAR renovations and refurbs. He's unbelievable and a very interesting guy. Jeremy, I'm going to try to have him in Darlington. If he'll come, he is a really good guy. Very, very neat person to talk to and love that guy. So that's that's his work right there. It's just unbelievable what he can do. Oh, we definitely love to have him, and I definitely want to meet him and see his uh, his beautiful work. The pictures you've sent me are amazing. So you just we just continue to meet awesome people that can, you know, help us do the things we want to do. Cam, or anything else before he hits down your way? Brother, get some sleep. Get ready to rock and roll. I was just going to ask Jeremy uh, or tell Jeremy. Uh, I don't know what sleep is, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just going to. Uh, I'm going to, to Charlotte in the morning. We actually have two simulator sessions the next two days, so we'll, di- we'll get some more code of time and more time on the upcoming tracks, but um, yeah, Thursday when I go to Charlotte, I'm leaving till till I come home. So uh, just trying, like I said, trying to give Mama Bear some time. And uh, man, I can't wait to hit Coda, the first time in the MPL Union Chevy for the primary this year, and really, really looking for big things. Honestly, I mean, yeah, Carl looks Carl looks great. Carl looks great. great. We're not there to be there. We're we're there to win. So that's that's what that's our goal. So I'm saying, uh, you, you know, bring the beer. I want to celebrate at the end of that deal. 
I'll be, we will definitely have that. I got to get with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? right now and uh, get, get a little list. <laughs> well, Carrie's, talk- cake. Carrie's looking forward to it too, man. She's she's pretty excited to come down and pick her up Friday morning and she's pretty, pretty excited to see you. I'm so glad. It's been so long since I've seen you guys since uh, Phoenix last year. Phoenix, man. But then it's going to be a world when you're going to see us a lot between now and September. That's right. That's good. That's a good thing. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we, we're looking forward to BG Crane coming on. That's a new one for you in Richmond. That guy's a great friend of mine. We've showed horses together. We've known each other since we were 14, so 42 years. Wow. Oh, I wow. Guess. Yeah, Matt's, age. Matt's a super guy, so <laughs> looking more out of him, too. He's a, he's a wonderful person, and I think he's going to enjoy that whole experience. And then – Having Nordic on as a primary, thanks for those guys jumping and stepping up on that that race too. Hundred percent, I couldn't say any better. Tay, thanks for bringing them along. I look forward to meet. Hope he's is he going to be able to make the race? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh good, okay, good deal. <laughs> He'll be there, and then Justin will be with us. I think the next one is Chicago. Next Chicago, one. Chicago, Miami. My two oh, he's right here. You're talking to him. You know, I didn't even hear him. Well, you know, I li- I listen, I listen, Jeremy. That's all. You know, I'm a listener. Slow, to, slow to hear, slow to slow to speak. I, slow to laugh, right? I, didn't, I just didn't. You said something. I didn't hear you. It's <laughs> all good. It's all good. Um, no, it's um, <clears throat> Chicago is going to be fun. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, all the other races, of course. So. Um, Miami will obviously be fun too, you know. So first first time in Vegas, we didn't connect, but um, it was my uh, first experience in Vegas, so that was that was eye opening a little bit. Oh, I bet. I know. Yeah. I thought you got you know <laughs> right before, at driver intros, and then then after that, I never saw you again. <laughs> so, that, was, that was funny how, that, how things work, and. Uh, but I know that it won't be the last time. So I well, yeah. much for yeah. a part of that. I, I think Travis is going to come with me to Chicago too. So like, I, I'm sure you like his energy as well. You know, he's always a hoot, right? <laughs> he's the best. Oh gosh, Travis is like a yeah. That that sucker is. He he was wide open. I mean, I just, let me bottle some of that energy up and have it. <laughs> why don't no, I think again? I think that's why it's very important to bring him to the races and be a part of it because I think, I think, no, I don't think I know it's all energy is very important in all this. So it is, yeah. So it's it's a long season. Just I I think the race the race car business is just like the baseball business. It's a long season. So and um, I think. I think you need all the support you can get and all the energy you can get. Uh, it's very important. And, that, and that's why we're here, you know, to uh, support and be a foundation. And uh, so, good things in 2024. It's definitely a long season, and every race is just as important to me as the next one. So, can't thank you all enough for being a part of this to keep us going and like I said earlier, I want to win for you. Well, we appreciate you and nope. everybody. Yeah, no pressure, Jeremy. I just want to rain. <laughs> <I'll take you. laughs> Did I just break it? I can eat it rain. Don't worry. <laughs> Is that China Red speaking over there? <laughs> Uh, so it's you, Impel Union Red. Yeah, so my color is right. uh, red. So I want to say, yeah. <laughs> then Jason the owe me one. Or two or three. How we are. How is it? I like that. <laughs> well, cheers. 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 Yeah, cheers. cheers. <laughs> do, I, do I agree, man? Agree. Yes. I'm gonna keep uh, Kennedy's bottle up. Right <laughs> that works. That's right. That's right. I, I was just gonna say he probably has her bottle. 
<laughs> chewing us. I do. She she woke back up. I thought she was asleep. I got her final jam in her mouth. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> Try and get his belly full, but I'm glad I could. I'm glad I went. And honestly, got my phone because I didn't even see all these texts. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I could, glad I could come on here for a few and and chat with you guys. And like I said, I definitely appreciate everybody and. Can't wait to see you this week in Kemner, and we're going to kick some ass and have some fun. Damn right. Hell yeah. Hey, Jeremy, before you go, I just want to ask you real quick. Did Bobby and I sent you a package back in December? It was delivered to the shop. I was just curious if you ever got it. It was for you and Courtney. You know, it, was, uh, it was the one with the cup, right? Yep, the cup and the coffee and the baby stuff. We just wanted to make sure you got it. I've got the cup here in my house, and I, I'm so sorry I forgot to to message you guys. That was so thoughtful. They, they sent me a cup, and it was the – it's it's just say it's like a Yeti kind of cup, and it's got the Victory Lane in Daytona with, oh, with wow. that on it. Yeah, that, that it's one. It's pretty cool. So yeah. uh, we've got it here at the house, and um, my Courtney loves it because she's on it. You know, Tony's on it, my dad, and uh, so it's it's pretty cool. I that was very very thoughtful, you guys. I I really appreciate that. I'm so sorry. Um, that I never did say anything back. Uh, I feel like half the time I just I just forget so many different little things because I'm just trying to keep up with so much. But uh, you try to keep up that baby. That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. you don't have to thank us at all. We we just wanted to make sure you got it. Um, it it yours extremely busy you have a brand new baby and, and a wife and you have all this stress from the race team and everything um and the year was coming up so we just wanted to make sure you got it because we uh, when we talked with mark setzer your crew chief he he said that he was going to talk to you but i'm sure he was busy too and wasn't able to talk with you either about it just to to make sure but no offense by taken by us we just are glad you got it we wanted to make sure you got it and we put coffee in there because we know you and Courtney like coffee and we knew you're going to need a bunch of that with a new, new, uh, infant, uh, newborn child. Definitely. Definitely. Home run on all that for sure. The cup was, the cup is definitely one I'll never forget. And I'll never. Hey, big shout out for racing warehouse too. Cause yeah. Those guys do so much for us. And, man, Eric and Christy, if you're listening, you guys, you rock. You really do. And for it's sure. a great process. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, they just uh, – they, they make they make us look good on the weekends for sure. And then they, uh, you know, then they take our stuff we throw away and, and – <laughs> Uh, turn around and, and make some uh, some money for us to to keep buying race car parts. I mean they they do it all for us. Yeah, I mean good. Jeremy, I do have an in at with Five Star Auto Bodies. Uh, a friend of mine's dad, uh, his or I should say dad, his father in law owns the business, and it's Ooh. only only twenty minutes away from my house. If you ever need me to load up uh, some body panels and stuff, let me know. Oh God! Yeah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead and go raid them for all you've got. For sure. <laughs> body panels, body panels. We need those like uh, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, when I was is, part of a no, race team, we were there all the time. <laughs> so we will, we go through those pretty good. <laughs> so Jeremy, just giving you a heads up. After Pocono, we got a VRBO. I said something to Mark and Mark and Ryan. If you guys want to come over and hang out with us at the VRBO after the race, it's it's open invitation. We can have a cookout. Yeah, that uh, I think the night before worked better for us because we all every time most of these races, unless Kemner or Tate gets with me and says, "Hey, you need to stay over," we're we're on the plane out. Uh, right, yeah. you know, we're, we're on the plane like all the other teams, and we're out of there. So, if you want to do something like that, we have to do it the night before. <laughs> well, we'll be there. <laughs> get with the uh, get definitely get with Ryan or or Mark Muller, Mark Nelson, those guys. And uh, if hey, if, they, if they're they're on that weekend, if they want to do it. We we'll do whatever they want to do. The heck yeah. 
Sounds good. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you, Area 51, for doing this and for supporting Jeremy, JCR, and all of us here. We appreciate you guys doing this because this is pretty incredible, which, what format you've set up. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. And without all you guys' support and Jeremy's support and stuff, there's no way we'd be able to do this either. So, I mean, this was just, uh, it started with it, like I was saying earlier, a conversation between me and Bobby. And now we're, this is our 13th uh, episode. And now, so, we're at, now we're looking at an associate sponsor. So th things are going big. Yeah. So, yeah, we're in it for the long haul. We're having fun doing it. And hopefully we're giving some entertainment value to some race fans and exposure to sponsors and partners and, and uh, other uh, race drivers, race teams that don't get the exposure that they deserve. Yeah. So. Well, but uh, one quick thing, Jeremy, I was going to tell you, uh, when we just were talking with Robert Presley, he said that uh, in 92, I think it was when he won it at uh, Darlington, uh, David Pearson pulled him aside and told him how to race at Darlington. And then, he used that and went out and won that race. He was, uh, Mark Martin sat on the pole and he said he, he was on the outside of the pole on that race and ended up winning it and shocked everybody. So he said he'd be willing to pass that knowledge and wisdom on to you and how to race at Darlington so you could win. So make make sure when you, you speak with Robert that he, he passes that on. I will definitely listen and take it in. I think it's top secret. I don't think he could share it with the public at large. So it might be a one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah, maybe you go, go have a hot dog or something at his <laughs> business and, you know, fill you, fill you in with the race secrets. <laughs> David would come in the shop and, you know, he, he loved to argue with me. So he, we'd get into these fun little arguments and he'd try to tell me, you need to left foot break, boy. He'd always call me boy. You need to do this, boy. You need to do that, boy. I said, well, David, get your ass in the door. <laughs> Now I don't show you up anymore. You'd be jobless. <laughs> he'd be like, you'd be on the streets, boy. Hey, here's here's a question I got for all the drivers coming up for Chicago. Are you going to use the clutch like SVG, or is that coming into your repertoire for racing if, strategy? If I had to do that, Tate, I would be uh, I'd be uh, seat deep in a barrier. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was incredible to watch, though. Mm. I, uh, it'll be interesting to see him drive this weekend at Coda in a, in an Xfinity car, because I mean, I, you know, none of us do that anymore because it's not needed. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if, if it helps or if it's worth doing, but yeah, I, I can't, I definitely couldn't do that. I'd have to learn. I'd have to relearn my whole strategy for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I'm not going to be doing it. Yeah, it's a different look at it for sure. That's something I haven't seen in years. Exactly, I know. Definitely a different form, but um, we'll see how it works for him this week. I hope, I hope he sees the Impel Union Chevy from the back the whole time. Damn yeah. right. Yeah, let's go, baby. I think this is the first show you've had a lady guest, so we want to give a shout out to all the ladies with the Lady History Month. Correct, this is the official uh, Ladies History. So glad we had Lee June on. Yes. Yeah, thank you, LJ. Yes, thank you. No worries, and uh, I always support, and uh, that's very important for all of us is to we'll support each other. It doesn't matter gender, color, or anything. Very political, it sounds like. But <laughs> it's the important thing is that everybody support each other with a very similar agenda, if not the same agenda. So our agenda here is strive and to win. And get so, a ring. Get a ring. Yeah, I need a rain, Jeremy. No pressure. We need a rain. <laughs> I'm ready. I, I have I have a naked right hand. We need that rain. There is nothing here. I need a rain. <laughs> We're gonna do everything we can, I promise you, because uh I want it bad too. So Yeah. Um Jason is pumped and Justin's pumped. The whole the team is whole yeah. team um, that we are getting whatever we can do and get you successful and everybody come with it. Yep. Just yes. 
And you're the last. I one. just want to see. I want to see Rob uh, from Whitetail Smokeless uh, take a digger off the pit box again, like he did down in Daytona after uh, you won in at the Wawa 250. Yeah, he definitely uh, went for a ride off that thing. He's, um, you know, he, he weighs a little bit more than my little ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it, that was that was awesome. And then when he was telling us that uh, when he was on that, you turned around and were like, "What the hell are you guys all doing out here? Uh, I, I think we're going to get in trouble because the uh, NASCAR you're not supposed to be out here." When they all ran out to celebrate with you on the front stretch at the start finish line. Yeah, thank goodness we didn't get in trouble for that. That because that was so cool to have everybody out there. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, that was awesome. That was for sure an, an epic uh, moment. Well deserved. Do we have the baby crying, or she is she's very asleep? calm? Yeah, she's very calm. Calm. She she's asleep. She she fell back asleep. So we're See? we're we're okay at the moment. The problem is, so I've got her laying literally on my legs, which I've shown you guys a picture, Kate and LJ. But uh, yeah, I got it. When you when you go to pick her up and you put her in the in the bassinet and you swaddle her, that's when all hell breaks loose. She wakes back up. So, <laughs> she does. It's normal. It's normal. Don't don't worry about it. You can bring her. No, it's. I'm a rookie, guys. You know, I've got my rookie stripes on here. <laughs> I think you're going for Daddy of the Year. Looks like. Absolutely. I, I saw the picture the other day where you were on the lounge chair by the pool with her. And uh, I'm assuming uh, Courtney was taking the photo or the video. And uh, I was like, dad of the year right there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but I'm just trying to dad anything. So <laughs> I, need, I need to send you guys the picture Jeremy sent me before he get on. Yeah. That's Precious. daddy of the year. Yeah. Okay. I sent it to you guys. It's so nice. You better ask for his permission first, though. Yeah, I can't have your permission. That's a beautiful beautiful picture. picture. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Which which one? One one that just sent y'all? Not right now. It's the one you smell um, her hair, and you are very calm. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was giving her a little kiss from the back. Yes, okay. I sent to everyone. Yes, very nice. I'm in my little, uh, yeah. Uh, we're just chilling right here on the couch. So yeah, that's of course that's fine. Okay. Awesome. Trying to be nice. You you want to release it, Jeremy back to his the uh, yeah his he's probably, duty? It's up to the producer here. So no, yeah, I, if he wants <laughs> to go, he can go. We we Thank greatly you. appreciate it, Jeremy. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you all for having me, and appreciate all the support. No, thank you. We appreciate it very much. And go get that win. Yes, <laughs> go get that win, win and the okay. ring. Go. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is something in on the fingers. Okay. That's right. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Night. Too. Bye. 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 Bye, Jeremy. Bye. Bye. Wow, two special guests tonight. I told everybody this, this episode was going to be wild. It was This wild. is a surprise, surprise Surprise. Surprise, yeah. I don't know what you're going to do the next one. It's pretty incredible. That's fun. Yeah. Thank you so for like Justin me. was saying earlier, it's all about good juju and the vibe and everything. And I, I guess uh, with Justin being on, on the show tonight, I think he, all that energy and good vibe and juju that he has uh, brought brought all this uh, together, I think. Nucleus, sure. And, yeah. I mean, well, I I don't think I'm anything special, but I I always believe in the um, positivity of life and bring it all the time. And beautiful things will happen if if we all believe together. Amen. I agree. Amen. Yeah, 100%. 100%. One shout out to Mike Joyce, Este Diablo. Roberto was on. Yes. Good, Good memories there. I'm getting texts from different people. We we put this thing out. Hopefully your viewership was up. Yeah, oh, we're still we're still trending at 24 people. So 24? Or 24 south. We have, 
No, we have 24 people in the, in the live right now. Okay. The, well, highest that, the highest that went up was 34. Okay. But usually with uh, when it goes, we publish it tonight after the show, it'll go to Podbean and then to our YouTube channel. Usually within a day or two, then every, all those numbers go way up. Yeah. Because people uh, may not uh, be able to watch live or whatever and stuff. So we appreciate everybody that listens and tunes in and makes every, like I said earlier, makes everything possible. Because um, without without that we're nothing so we're just oh, two uh two race fans that uh are jeremy clements fans that uh like to talk about racing and talk to people with the same love and passion that we do you know we run into him i ran into a guy <clears throat> chuck grove yep and chuck is a good guy and he's an avondale resident and a customer of ours, mike laura lives out there so i was kind of connecting the two and mike said hey he needs a hat I said, I got one on my head. He can have it. It's kind of battle proven. And he, he took it. We sent him some more hats this week and shirts. But those type of people, right, Mike and, and Chuck Brothers, those are diehard Jeremy fans now. And Chuck's a great guy. Can't wait to see him again at Phoenix. Say he's going to go to Sonoma, so we'll see him out there too. So, Chuck, if you're listening, we can't wait to see you, brother. Yeah, I, I met Chuck through uh, or, uh, uh, social media, the Twitter being a Jeremy Clements fan, and we've been friends since. My my daughter actually lives out in Arizona, um, in Gilbert, which is southeast of Phoenix. She works. Uh, she's a pastry chef at a resort in Scottsdale, the Fairmont Princess, mm -hmm. where they have the PJ Golf Tournament every year. That's the the resort where she wa works at. And I was out there actually for two weeks when that golf tournament was going on, and then I came home, and I, my uh, son and his girlfriend just went out and, and I got, I got them tickets to the Phoenix race. So they were at the Xfinity race. And uh, so I don't know why I have never gone to, to the Phoenix. I've been to the Phoenix track when they were remodeling it just to see it the first year my daughter lived out there, but I've never been to a race there. So I'm like, I got a place to stay. It's only like an hour, 15 minute drive from where she lives. I don't know why I don't go there. So <laughs> I was telling, I think, Kimner before, that the two best circle tracks that I've been to that I enjoyed the most, Phoenix and Kansas, and I believe they're owned by the same folks. But what they do for their fans is uh, they feel a lot alike. Um, Bandito Tequila Company has like a little margarita bar, and, and you can hang out and relax. Really cool place. Great venue for the infield fans. Uh, and then Kansas has that same friendliness to it as well um i was surprised i didn't think kansas was going to be what it was but i really enjoyed kansas yeah so, it's uh it's interesting how how different tracks like this year they're going to iowa instead of road america and i was a, a nascar owned track if i remember right it'll be, it'd be interesting to see they haven't raced there in years how that that's going to work out i mean they sold it out right away I think the if I remember correctly, they they're doing it like what they did with the Indy race when they had it there the last couple of years. They're gonna do sort of like the Chicago Street Race, where they have music and entertainment as part of the the package deal with the camping and everything. So you not only get racing, you also get like the music type festival type atmosphere as well. So just unbelievable. If you get the chance, go to go to Phoenix for sure. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was just talking to my son the other day. I said, I think we need to go to Phoenix in the fall. So to the maybe that. I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. We also go to, to oh, go in August uh, for my daughter's birthday. So for for a week or 10 days or so to visit her. And then um, I think that race is like November 9th. 9th? Yeah, the, the second is Martinsville, I think, right? And then the 9th, yeah. So for UTA and there? No, there than UTA. Then UTA, UTA, UTA okay. Too. We're the primary on that car in Phoenix. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Then obviously Rob and I get to finally knock off Pocono. Yep. Um, I'm I'm gonna either knock off Indy or go back to Michigan. I haven't decided. 
Maybe maybe Chicago. Yeah, I, I might just make the three and a half hour drive. You got to. Chicago. That's the one. If there was if there was one race, and you said Daytona, Bristol, or I'm going to Chicago. If I have to go to one, it's going to be Chicago. Yeah. See, I was uh, being in law enforcement and everything and being so close. I live an hour and a half, a little more than an hour and a half from Chicago in southeast Wisconsin. And I, there's so much the crime and everything. I was I was not a proponent of them going to Chicago. I was like, oh, this is not going to be good. There's, this is going to be a nightmare logistically for law enforcement and everything. And uh I, I even on social media had said some stuff and I ate my words. I admitted I was wrong. I, it was an awesome race. I mean, I was upset that it, it you know, the rain and the, the torrential rains and everything made it not as good of an of event it could have been uh, or should have been, I should say. It was still good. Unfortunately, the music and stuff got rained out. But um, yeah, I was... Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I, I honestly was. I, I, uh, I, it looked like it was a lot of fun. Um, the course, course was really nice. I know they, I've heard that they reduced the the part of the course because of how much of the traffic they had to shut down prior to the race. So they they redid the course a little bit, and I think the the hauler parking and where the pit area is. I think they were going to make that more conducive for the race teams and make it easier for them. But um, yeah, that, that uh, was a really cool race. And I, and um, you know, and then the cup race with SVG and Justin Haley battling it out. And I was just like, this is nuts. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, it was really, it was fun to watch and it was cool. Like you said, you, you don't get to see, a big city skyline in the background while cars are racing around and you got people on top of these uh, high race condo buildings and stuff partying. And yeah, you don't get that. So, I mean, that, that was cool. So I, I admit I was wrong on that one and, and stuff. Um, it also um, upset me too, cause I'm a big road America fan being from Wisconsin and uh losing you know the road america cup race and that that sucked but xfinity to me has always been the best racing in my opinion any anyways so it does but. because it's a really <laughs> sensible time so you have family and you have everything you can go home on a very reasonable time and you still can't go home and eat and cook so I love the idea what you said about Chicago. And I do want to throw out the idea and see what you guys take because the last Chicago race was everything else is very entertaining and great. They judged differently than every other race. She's talking about they didn't quite get to halfway. It's the first time I think in NASCAR history. They did not oh, go right. halfway. <laughs> they didn't go halfway. And we were sitting, we were 20th. If they would have gone halfway, we figured the worst we would have finished, Jeremy, JCR, yep. fifth or six, because they would have needed fuel. We were good. We were in the cat third seat. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> She's still mad about it. <laughs> She can't get over it, but that's good. That's I'm that's, very nice. Yeah. You see, I'm smiling. <laughs> this is what I think we can do next race. Yeah, and we one thing, I'm getting some hits right now. And Jason Kemner in Impel. Yeah. And he understands if anything happens with ring or anything, we need to fight for it. <laughs> We're going to race at least more than halfway. Yes. Yes. No less than a halfway. That's not good. So I'm getting a, a text right now from one of our <laughs> clients. I need to give a shout out to Raul and Teresa's at Phoenix. We took a couple of folks from the team there last weekend. That is the best Mexican restaurant I've ever eaten at. So if you're out at Phoenix, Avondale area, I think it's actually in Goodyear, go to Raul and Teresa's. Unbelievable margaritas, too. We had a great time. And that's where the team dinner will be next year on Friday night for the race. Come join us. Nice. Awesome. And I think maybe Bill France, uh, uh, maybe you can call him and and put in a, a complaint with him about the Chicago race. 
So I think that's probably the guy you need to talk to, right? I don't think he wants it. No, I don't think so either. (laughs) Uh, No, I I was just being sarcastic. So yeah, yeah, we we were uh, upset with that, but we were happy that we were part of it and a primary. It was really a unique experience to have that ability to do it and help chair me out in the team. That was fantastic. One hundred percent. So we have officially knocked down the barrier for the longest show of Area Fifty One Racing podcast. Two hours. Just about. We got eight Almost. minutes until two hours. <laughs> but we had a lot of guests, a lot of people on. We've had a lot of fun. A lot of energy. A lot of energy, yes. Yeah, our longest show anything. was an hour and 52 minutes. And we just passed it. Okay. So, we did something. That's good. Yeah, I think we and I think we covered everything we wanted to. I mean, I don't know if there's anything else. You all wanted to talk about. Um, I know Jason's ready to go to bed. Yeah, he's got to get up early. Just oh, go yeah. win, baby. Just go win. <laughs> Just go <laughs> <no> win. <laughs> you know what? That's that's. I think we need to get like a a, a banner or a sign made. Yeah. With Just LJ's go. photo or picture on it, with her holding up her hand, and it says "Just win, baby." Where's the ring? Or something along those lines, and put yeah. it in Jeremy's hauler. <laughs> Can I just do say it's naked here? Just put on. We need that wing ring. Got to get it, <laughs> guys. I appreciate it. I think we're good. We broke the record. Um, it was it was a great journey with y'all tonight. Um, I had a fun time doing it. Would love to do it again. After we get that win, we'll be there for you. Oh, absolutely. We plan on having uh, everybody back on. You know, I don't drink, but I may, if he wins, especially if he wins a championship, I will definitely have a, a celebratory drink. We already said if he wins a Pocono, we're going to is ambitious. Yeah. Yes. Which one, which one <laughs> shall you choose? The blue or the red? <laughs> yeah. Blue or the red? <laughs> yep. Nobody gonna win championship. That's a level. Do it. But yeah, I just I want to thank everybody for coming on tonight and spending this time with us. And like I said, you guys more than welcome to come back anytime, individually or all together again. It doesn't matter. Bobby, do you mind if we before we cut off? I want to sing about five seconds about our son. Learned that from the preschool. Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> We're gonna win. There Just you go. go. That's go. that's <laughs> the you need oh, to do I that on every race. She's extremely competitive. I mean, when we play cornhole, I'll be whipping her, and all of a sudden here she comes. She starts reeling it in. She's just golf the same way. You saw the picture, Bobby, where she's in the driving suit there at yep. the uh, Victory Lane indoor go-kart track. I lapped her. She T-boned me. I still have back pain from that. She took me out. <laughs> yeah. no. She knows how to do a pivot move. No. <laughs> yeah. We all want to win. We're going to have fun. We'll see you next time. Yep. Thank you yep. So much. Sounds good. Yeah, thank yeah. you all. We are really uh, happy you were able to join us tonight, and thank you for everything you do. Not only for us, but Jeremy Clements Racing and and uh, and his team. Um, just everybody's just a bunch of great group of people and and family, and everybody works together. So that that's awesome to see. Awesome. All right, Justin. Appreciate good to see you. see you soon. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you guys. See you. Thank you. Yep, thank you guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Have safe travels, reason. Jason. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So, so, Rob, that's uh, the end of episode 13. We want to thank our partners out there. Without the, without them, this podcast doesn't happen. Uh, Beach Ridge Barbershop, Spartan Waste, Impel Union, Alliance Driveway Solutions, First, First Pacific Funding, Elite Towing and Recovery, Whitetail Smoke List, Fly and Form, Concrete Structures, Driftless Glen, Runner's Roost, Matman Designs, Jeremy Clements and Jeremy Clements Racing. And I told you guys we had surprises today. And surprise, we had two special guests and an action-packed episode. So with that being said, 
We are signing right. off, and y'all have a great night. Bobby, I just want to say something real quick. I uh, want to thank every, uh, everybody uh, for the thoughts and prayers. Last week I was sick, ended up in the hospital over the weekend. And I just want to really thank uh, you, Bobby, and uh, Matt from Beach Ridge Bar Barbershop, and also uh, Dave, uh, our other co-host on the show, for reaching out and and uh, checking in on me. It means a lot, or meant a lot, and uh, I really appreciate it. So I just want to thank you guys for that. Hey, no problem, man. Um, we're glad you're back. So y'all have a good one, and we will see you next week.